Hello everybody, this is James Silas back again for another interesting episode of Entertainment Business with James Silas. Have you subscribed? Did you watch last week's episode? You, you did? You, you did not? Is this your first time on this channel? Well, you're welcome. First of all, what you need to do is subscribe. When you subscribe, you get a notification that a new video or a new episode has been released. So you don't get to miss anything. Actually, you get to see the video in real time. Welcome to Entertainment Business with James Silas. Yeah! I feel like this ring light is shining on my upon. I can feel the heat, but we gotta move. Let's go. So this week we had a couple of fake news that made the rounds. Put that on repeat. Chick, 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 chick. Fake news. Chick, chick, chick. Fake news. Mm. The biggest being that Olu Jacob was dead. Can you imagine that? So one online blog, what I call them a blog website or was their twitter handle i don't know they put out a story that Uli jacob was dead and you know how all those stupid stories will never have any information or details they just put out and say oh maybe like developing story that they're going to give you updates as time but yo it was false because a couple of um nollywood actors friends of Uli jacob and the wife reached out to them to know what's going on and then of course only, you know, imagine you see in the news that somebody is dead and then you now call the person and say, Hello, how far? I hear you don't die. The person say, Oh, I saw this. I say, I don't die. I don't just understand what they go on for this uh, social media today. And the problem is, social media, Twitter, and all the above has become a place where people just tend to put out any information they want in the name of breaking news. And um, when you do that whole breaking news, you break a lot of hearts, especially when you put out false information if you understand journalism and um, the ethics of the profession you understand that before you put out any news story or before you report anything you have to first of all confirm as in confirm confirm that this thing you know, is the truth if you are you conversant with the four-way test by the time you apply all the four-way um is it the truth is it fair to all concerned it will it be beneficial to all concerned is it, will it be a good will and better friendship if you even Think about these things. I mean, I'm not saying it's not particularly a journalistic or a journalism um, code, but in life generally, if you're able to apply this thing before you talk or take any action, you will realize that you will not make this kind of big blunders. Because when you put out the story that somebody is dead, I mean, somebody that's in his house, either chilling or relaxing with the family, and then you now put out the story that the person is dead, I think it's a very, very unfair thing to do. Um, but thank God, Jacob is ill and healthy. Everybody, uh, the actors, friends that reached out to him says he's fine and there's no cause for alarm. So please, whenever you want to put out any information that is not true or that is not verified, think very well before you do it. If not, the next time we'll see you on the road. Hmm. The second fake news that made round was about the video. Um, the story went around that he had another child from another woman um, but I saw like a report that said that it was false and it is not true so um, I think we'll just say for now there's no facts to that and um, I don't think if it was true the video will probably just eventually own up and say oh this thing is true and you know the you know the way we cannot really really hold on to this information uh, we just have to it's not a matter of keeping your fingers crossed it's just what it is um, there's no weight to that information so we'll call it fake news away from the bad and fake stories i did really good and see me welcome their first child that they named adijari adijari i hope i got that right she was born on the 30th of may 2020 but they actually announced it on the 8th of june i think 8th or 9th of june um so just earlier this week actually the couple announced this on instagram on twitter um sharing the name of the child and a note as well and let me read it adeja Kusoko is like free falling this unending soul snatching infinite mind-boggling love deja my baby girl i got you we got you i promise now and forever so help me god we pray that all the resources that you may need to raise this child be provided to you by god almighty in jesus name so now this is one story that um, as juicy as my sound you need to be careful when you want to talk about it the truth is um anybody that's arrested for any 
allegation or for you can't just say any crime um for any allegation let me leave that any allegation you cannot actually pin in that person until the person is proven guilty however the news making rounds that hospital was arrested by interpol in dubai um there was a report on america's local tv where they were talking about um a fund for their COVID-19 fund for relief also being lodged in a Nigerian account. Um, so, but we don't know for now, there are no facts to it. We don't know, uh, Interpol has not put out an official statement to say, this is exactly why we have arrested Hush Puppy and so on. So, but for now, yes, that's what we've heard. Uh, a lot of people have had their eyes on Hush Puppy, clearly he shows off, he is that goofy guy. He's, He's a bully nigger. Yeah? If you go to his Instagram page, I don't even need to tell you, just check his Instagram page out and then you just know for yourself. If you are a very, very legit, hardworking person, if you go to his page, you look and see, make it look like or make you feel like you're not trying at all. And the fact that you are lazy, you're a lazy bum, I swear to God, the guy wears all the designers you can ever think of. What about the cars? In fact, his last post was about the Rolls Royce that he just bought. Ah, man. As in, and then if you go further, you just realize that he probably just bought one Bentley or one other badass car like less than a month ago or something. And then it just makes you feel like, ah, look, we've, we know Dangote, we know Hotel Dollar, we know um, Tony Lumelu, we have and the likes. They don't really come out, even if you can say, okay, maybe they're not in the same age bracket, but even at that, they don't really come out to. So, if you go to Lumelu's page, for instance, you don't really see anything that looks like money on it. I mean, we know, we know, we know, we know all that stuff, but we don't really see anything that shows, or even him showing his house, a part of his house, and all of this. You don't really see anything like that. So, and then it just sort of make some bad belly people to start putting their eyes on your destiny and be wishing you bad. But this is not about wishing him bad or anything. But I just feel like, look, if you commit an offense, if you're not legit, if your hands are not clean. One day, you will somehow, some way, according to Jay Z, the long arm of the law will get to you, to arrest you, to catch you, and deal with you. Um, what was it last year? We had the case of uh, Momfa, who was arrested by EFCC. But I don't know, I think that case is still ongoing, or maybe he has been cleared or something. But whatever the case is, I feel like if you're doing anything that is not clean, that is not legit, you cannot be coming out in public to be exposing and showing off. Because one day, one day, you all those eyes that you are, you think you are giving Pepe them gang and everything, will still be the ones that will be watching when they come for you. So, um, everybody work hard for your money, do what you gotta do, but try not to hurt other people in the course of chasing success because it might still come back to bite you in the ass. Um, it's what it is, child. But I wish him all the best. That's for Hush Puppy. I wish him all the best. I really hope that his hands are clean. If if not, the law already and Interpol, you know, this was the duty. Do the, do the joke, do the smile. All the best, bro. So last week, I told you guys that um, the Big Brother Ninja reunion show was going to run for four days, Monday to Thursday. I don't know where I got that information. I could have sworn that I saw it on Africa Magic's page. And all of a sudden, even after I thought that it was over, boom, there was another episode on Friday. And then it continued like that, even until, as we speak, till this week. And has it been fun? Has it been crazy? Absolutely. It's been a roller coaster of controversies, fights, verbal abuses, and of course, apologies and explanations. It's been crazy. Is it even possible that you ever stop talking about Tacha versus Messi? I don't think it's possible. Apart from that one, Tacha trends on Twitter like she just Tacha can just be minding her business somewhere in her house and her fans will just be making her trend and. She'll just be getting mentions and then she I I don't even know what kind of phone touch is using that. And then I need to understand what kind of battery she because she has to be, she must have like 10 phones because the battery will be draining every time because she's always trending. The girl is always a topic on Twitter. Kilode, what did happen? The last one I saw was Tacha, no comment. Bro. And how did it come to that? At the reunion show, in the course of conversation, we came to realize that. EK and Tacha are still talking or they are friends. And then I think Ibuka made a reference about both of them talking about Messi in the house. So you see the whole, um, the dynamic of Tacha and EK being friends and then knowing that Tacha and Messi 
for it not to be not cool or not to be good to him. Messi feels like that's his respect to her and the relationship that she shares with Ike. And then Ibuka went ahead to ask Tacha, do you think you're being disrespectful by being friends with Ike, knowing very well that you're not cool with Messi? And then Tacha goes, no comment. No comment is still trending on Twitter. No comment. And away from Tacha and Messi and Ike, there was also Tema and she. Tema is still feeling bad about what she said to her when they were in the house. Tema told the housemate about how she lost her brother and then she now used that same thing to insult or curse her when they were in the house saying that all her sources and all her greatness or blah 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 so had been buried with her brother i mean that's that was bad that was even back then it was bad so and then but of course the thing, why are we having a reunion if we're not going to bring back something about the past so she eventually apologized even though it, the, it was those kind of shaky or rocky the has gallop kind of apology but eventually i think they hugged it out and now i believe they are cool yeah Another major thing that went down in the Big Brother house was Messi versus Marshala. Whoa. So apparently on the show, Marshala had teased Messi and Ike or something about condom and you know. But apart from that one, Marshala also admitted having garnished his gist with Biggie concerning Messi, you know, and then using certain derogatory words, he called Messi and a shower or a prostitute, something like that. During the reunion show, it got out of control and they went at each other, you know, almost getting physical, you know. But long and short of the matter is that they still resolved and still hugged it out and still, you know, Marshall apologized. Even after the apology on the show, they went on Instagram Live as well. Marshall was telling Messi that, oh, his mom had to call him to say, Marshall, better go back that game, beg her away because, hmm. But away from that, I said, Marshall had said at the end of the show that please you tell your fans, Messi now you say, I beg me, I don't beg you, you see, me they don't come after me. It was so funny. One of the reasons why they put that show together is to still for reconciliation and to make people pour out their hearts and do you understand and forgive each other no matter and regardless whatever whoever would have done to the other party. So me, I'm not supporting anybody, I'm not attacking anybody, I'm just analyzing what has happened according to my own gospel so please this is not about anybody coming after me coming at me or tweeting at me i'm just a neutral guy here explaining what happened in the reunion show Joe. so this week was also the band's birthday i want to say happy birthday to the band's coco master that's a legend take it or leave it he has done his best he has done well for the industry he has done well for himself can't actually force that. I don't know if you watched, if you saw his Insta live and the Jazzy walked in. It was fun. We were playing a lot of his old hits. He did like a short performance. It was fun. I don't know if he had like a proper proper party, but I mean, it looked like he had a couple of friends over and they sort of vibe and had fun together. The band, the very energetic guy, is still the entertainer. He has done well for himself. And we just want to wish him more life, more grace, more money. Peace. Every day, I wake up with a new hunger and deeper passion. Everything is happening so fast when I think about how a lot of strangers have become connected to me because of my music. It excites my spirit and sets my heart on fire. Oh, we've come to the end of the show. My brothers and sisters, I hope you enjoyed the show. Eh? Please leave me a comment just in case. Subscribe if you have not. Share with your friends. Like. Very important that you subscribe because that will help you get information immediately. See, once the video just drops like this, boom, you get an email or notification that a new video has been dropped. So please support the movement. I appreciate you watching. I mean, spending your data on this vlog right now. I really, really appreciate it. I hope to see you next week because I'll be here with a new episode of Entertainment Business with James Silas. Yeah!